Another day at the office, Antarctica. Right now we're on a glacier with lots of crevasses. So you can see behind me, basically if we fell in a crevasse, he would be my anchor. So I just have to fill my bag here with some snow because one of the challenges of working is that I'm almost always blowing. And if I let this bag go, even in a light wind like right now, it'll be gone. Fairly stiff snow and snow is extremely strong. That's why unintended crevasse falls are very uncommon. That said, when they happen, the consequences can be very bad. So you, know, you just have to take precautions. So this is one end of, of this uh, dipole, positive, negative, and it's measuring electric field. Because the surface here is not very conductive, and so you need to give it a bit of a boost at the end. So these are preamps that one of the other scientists, John, invented, and he built specifically for this work, and there's, there's nothing else in the world that these are used for. Is it hard to get healthy when you're outside in the snow every day? I would say yes. We're not outside all day, every day, but there were a few days last week went out feeling bad and came home feeling worse. Yeah, you just kind of keep going. Everyone has to work pretty hard. These connections are not very strong. And then we land with the helicopter, it, the rotor puts a lot of air blast. And the worst thing would be to set it up really nice and beautifully and have it work when we're sitting there and then have the helicopter blow the connections apart. So this connection is pretty strong, but for this one, I, I just leave a little bit of extra give it a little wrap, like this, like that, you see? And then I just bury it. Snow, and then it can't go anywhere. 